Trump pulls UN funding, gives it to faith-based orgs helping persecuted Christians. In a speech Wednesday night, Vice President Mike Pence announced that the Trump administration will no longer rely solely on the United Nations to disperse funds meant to aid Christians being persecuted in the Middle East. Pence made the remarks in Washington at the In Defense of Christians annual Solidarity Dinner for Christians in the Middle East Gala. According to the Washington Examiner, the Obama administration relied on the United Nations to disperse over $1 billion in funding meant for humanitarian aid in the Middle East. My friends, those days are over, Pence said. Instead, the pulled humanitarian funding will now go to faith-based organizations to distribute. Trending Smuggler begs Zach fired after uploading video of himself bullying Chick-fil-A employee. Our fellow Christians and all who are persecuted in the Middle East should not have to rely on multinational institutions when America can help them directly, Pence said. From now on, the United States Agency for International Development will administer the relief, Pence said. Tonight. It is my privilege to announce President Trump has ordered the State Department to stop funding ineffective relief efforts at the United Nations and from this day forward, America will provide support directly to persecuted communities through USAID, he said. The audience greeted the announcement with a sustained round of applause. The United States will work hand in hand from this day forward with faith-based groups and private organizations to help those who are persecuted for their faith, Pence said. This is the moment. Now is the time. And America will support these people in their hour of need. Let's face facts, the United Nations is not the most effective organization when it comes to distributing aid to certain groups. One of those groups is made up of persecuted Christians, who aren't high on the priority list at the UN. Then, why would you leave any of these decisions in the hands of an organization that's vehemently anti-Israel and anti-American? The Trump administration is making the right decision here, and the more money pulled from the UN's more ineffectual efforts, the better. Please like and share on Facebook and Twitter with your thoughts on Pence's remarks. Do you think the United States should take a less active role in the United Nations? Scroll down to comment below. Comment below.